Okay, so it's been a little bit since I've done a tutorial. And I want to show off a piece of software, well, web software that you can host yourself or pay for. I pay for it personally. This is not sponsored. I'm not getting anything from them. I've not been asked to cover this. It's just a really cool tool that I want to cover. It's called Simple Login. So let's say you're somebody who uses email service like Gmail or Hotmail or whatever other email provider you prefer. Or you're someone like me who used to use Fastmail. Well, what is Fastmail? Fastmail is a really awesome solution and it'll allow you to use your own custom domain. And it was really great. I have no problems or qualms with them. They are a great solution if you want an email provider. But this is one of the things they let you do, is you could use your own domain, set up several aliases, even wildcards. And their support and their everything about them was amazing. The only reason I left was because I kind of wanted to go back and uh, save some money. I have a lot of email. I'm, I, I delete all my spam but I don't delete anything else. <laughs> and the plan that I had to pay for was the standard plan. And that's $50 a year. Because I have about 15 gigs of email. Well, I wanted to keep using my custom domains. And <laughs> I love my wild carding. So, Simple Login was a pretty awesome solution. So, let's go ahead and go over to simplelogin.io. And basically, they have the same thing in mind that I was using. I would have my own domain, and whatever site I signed up for, I put the name of the site in front. And that way, I could block that email in the future. Well, this is a service that does that for you, but sends it to whoever is your email provider on the back end. And the best of all, they have a free plan. And if you want to use your own domain, well, you can do that too. Unlimited custom domains with catch-all. So it automatically creates them on demand. And best of yet, it's only $30 a year. So it's quite amazing for what you can do. Now, I don't want to log into my personal one because I don't want you to see all my aliases and stuff personally. So instead, we're going to look at the free plan. And then I'll consider logging into my personal account at the end here to show you kind of how that works. Um, I'll just blur out some stuff. Let's walk through the process of setting it up for yourself. So, since there are a bunch of Linux users here, I know a lot of people are probably using ProtonMail. I personally have never used Proton, but hey, whatever you want to use. Uh, I, personally, right now, I'm using Gmail with my uh, service at Simple Login. You can actually set up multiple emails or you can have it spread across multiple emails. So if you're testing the waters of different email providers, you don't have you can change your email provider at your whim without having to worry about anything else. This will just you can have it send all the addresses or just move it around to a different address. So anyways, let's sign up for a ProtonMail account. Like I said, I've never done this. So not only 150 messages, well this is for me to test anyways. Sure, I'll do the CAPTCHA. Interesting that they're using Google CAPTCHA when they're supposed to be a privacy-focused service. There's so many other CAPTCHA solutions you could use. But it's cool that they have different options if you don't want to use Google's CAPTCHA. Still saying they could have used a different CAPTCHA. There's even some CAPTCHAs out there that pay you. Uh, no, uh, Make the setup.
We'll just take this set to the Viper. Then finish. We'll look at this stuff later. So now you have a Proton email account, and we've just set this up so you know it's brand new. Let's come over here and let's sign up for our account with Simple Login. They use HCAPTCHA. This is also a service that Cloud Player switched to. And it's more privacy focused and actually pays you. Depending on how big you are. Should probably preface that. Anyways, so we are Timothy Viper at protonmail.com. And we're just going to use my fancy password again here. Click an image containing a boat. Boat. Looks like a boat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's bump over here. And we should hopefully see. There we go. One final step. Verify this email address. It's kind of cool how they handle it. They don't just straight link you out. Pretty nice. And here we are. Here we're at your va our dashboard. So they have a little tutorial to walk you through it. But we're going to go ahead and skip it. And I'm going to show you what's going on. So. Oh, cool. They're going to let me have it for free right now. So, uh, the premium service, which is the $30 a year. So here's where you'd add your own domains. But since we don't have our own domains, we can generate a totally random alias to use on a website, or we can just do something like this. New alias, and we will do uh, let's say we're going to sign up. Oh, oh yeah, actually. Let's go back here. Let's go to sign up for a, a simple service somewhere. Let's sign up at, ah, yes. Let's go to Weebly. There are lots of people like Weebly. So we will So now where it says your email, all we'll do is over here. We can make a create one, or we can just do a random alias. So here's our new random alias. Just click to copy it to our clipboard. Paste it here. Let's do this. United States. as it thinks. I just need a website. Sure, let's start editing. However, if we come over here, we should be getting our email from Weebly. Come on. Hmm. I guess they don't email you right away. Anyways, as the emails come in, they will you, you create a new alias for each service. And with the aliases, you can hide your real email address. And that's what's really cool about this. However, at this point, I guess what I really should do is show you how it really works. So I'm going to log out of this account and I'm going to log into my real account and show it to you guys. So give me a second here. So here is all of my emails. I have the aliases automatically generated based off of my domain logic. My domain logic and the different domains I own. What's cool about this is all these domains are wildcards. So I don't have to come in here and create a new alias each time. 
I, since I own the domains, I can enable wildcard. And so anything I put in front of my email, uh, so as you see here for the different things I have, GitHub, Twitch, oh, Charlie's, Patreon, Sheets, VoIP, all the different providers. And that way I can control when some, like if Patreon starts selling my email or something, or I leave Patreon and they still email me or something, I can just toggle it off by clicking and it'll disable it. Or if I'm getting too many emails from them, I can just toggle it off, toggle it back on. I can even see how many forwards have been done. That is every email that has come in. And now you might be wondering, okay, so how do you reply to an email that you've signed up with here? Because that was a question I had too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email and show you just how simple it actually is. So. Let's take log out of my premium account and end with the account we just created let's create a new random alias copy it testing one two three this is a test and only a test Send. And so now on email, let's pretend that someone sends you an email to your alias. And there it is. From my personal email. And then you get this reply with this long and crazy special address. Now this special address allows you to reply. And you're replying via simple login. So I could just say, hey there, thanks for emailing me. And so now what happens is the email server recognizes that I, Timothy underscore Viper at protonmail.com, sent an email to timothy.f.rogers at gmail.com but I really sent it to the simple login server using this special reply address. This address only accepts connections from me and only to that address. That way it knows the logic to send from that alias that we've created which is this one right here. And now you might also wonder well how do I just send an email that I've never sent from that address before? Cool. Send an email from this alias. Put in their name. So whoever you're going to email. So let's say Act 13, which is uh, testing at hack13.me. Great reverse alias. Copy it. And then we can send an email. This is a test. Now let's just look at this object. This is just a test. And now I'll get that email with that alias, which I can confirm that I just did. And the thing that's so cool about this is it just works. You can now use any free email service you want. Put all of your domains behind it. If you want to use it for business purposes, you can have your business email address. It's just so simple to have so many different emails. And you, like I said, I showed you with my premium account, you can have one domain and have anything at that domain and it just makes your life so much easier it is a really awesome solution it is only thirty dollars a year 
and then you could use your Gmail in the back end, your ProtonMail, whomever you want to use, wherever you want to store your email. It's just a great solution, and it's completely free if you don't want to use your own domain. But $30 a year if you do. Again, there is no affiliate link. There is no nothing. And in case you're actually wondering, it's open source too. So if you really want to, you can come down and find out all the information and go straight to their GitHub and host it yourself if you really wanted to. I personally think that hosting your own email is a bit of a headache and I've done it before and even though they're using a quick start docker container I still personally think it's just a lot easier to just pay them $30 a year and the one time emails are just being a little bit delayed I emailed them and they're very quick to fix it within like 15 minutes I've been using them for a few months now and I've been very happy I can switch email providers on the fly no one will ever even know the difference I can block different websites who are emailing me to prevent spam it's just a great tool if you have your own domain and you want to save some money that's all I have to share with you today I thought it was a great tool and a great resource and I hope you do too so thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful day